Um, I know I was looking. Yeah, Andy has been. Well, Rudy is definitely pushing it. 659. I don't even hear the footsteps yet. Yeah. I know he was at a week with Andrea. Well, just the announcement alone is three minutes, so he knows he has an extra. Maybe he fell asleep. He's going to miss the roll call, though. It's all right. Dean doesn't start till after the thing starts in his mind. Unless he decides he's going to miss the work session. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have nothing from Bob tonight because he's not here. Uh, Make Dr. things shorter. <laughs> It'll be, we're going to have a short work <laughs> session. We should start at 730. I'd like to. Yeah, it's, it was advertised for 7 o'clock. Uh, Come on, you're the attorney. Do you remember what happened when they, when they kept you for starting late? Nothing. <laughs> nothing. The 7 p.m. work session meeting is now called to order. Can I get a roll call of the township committee? Mr. Boonstra? Mr. Madigan? Here. Mr. Malkion? Here. Mr. Shanley? Here. Mayor Rubenstein? Here. Can I get a reading of the open work session, please? Please take notice that in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act, NJSA 10, colon 4 through 6, FSEC, and in consideration of Executive Order Number 103, issued by Governor Murphy on March 9, 2020, declaring a state of emergency in the state of New Jersey, the Township Committee of the Township of Wyckoff does hereby notify the public that to protect the health, safety, and welfare of our citizens while ensuring the continued functioning of government, this meeting of the Township Committee of the Township of Wyckoff scheduled for 7 p.m. Tuesday, March 2nd at Wyckoff Town Hall, 340 Franklin Avenue, Wyckoff, New Jersey, 07481 will be live streamed via the Township of Wyckoff's YouTube channel. And members of the public may call 201-891-7000, extension 222, should they wish to provide public comment during the public comment period. Members of the public may also email their public comments to wyckoffclerk at wyckoff-nj.com before 3 p.m. on the day of the meeting. These comments will be read at the meeting during the public comment period. These measures are implemented to allow members of the public to observe the meeting via live streaming and to provide to the public the ability to comment before the meeting through written comments, as well as during the period for public comment, which appears on the agenda for the meeting. This notice and agenda have been posted on the front door of Town Hall, facing Franklin Avenue, and on the Township's homepage, wyckoff-nj.com, at the quick link, quick link for minutes and agendas on Friday, February 26, 2021. Please select Township Committee and locate the date of the meeting to view documents, such as resolutions and ordinances, which would otherwise be made available. General instructions regarding access to the meeting will be posted on the Wyckoff website's homepage at wyckoff-nj.com as a news item on Friday, February 26, 2021, by 4.30 p.m. To view the Township Committee meeting via live stream, please access the YouTube link, which will be posted on the Wyckoff website's homepage at wyckoff-nj.com as a news item immediately prior to the commencement of the meeting at approximately 6.55 p.m. on March 2nd, 2021. To be notified of all future live stream Township meetings, please create a YouTube account and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Township of Wyckoff. In the event the YouTube platform modifies its connectivity protocols and does not announce these critical changes again in the future, instructions on how to view each meeting via Zoom technology will be posted at the news section of the Township homepage, wyckoff-nj.com, before 7.10 p.m. This second method is provided to ensure the continuity of government on platforms which the township does not control and establish unannounced changes and will only be utilized if it is not possible to conduct the meeting via live stream on YouTube. As a precaution for this plan B, the following instructions are provided. Please locate the link posted on the news item announcing the township committee meeting on the homepage of our website and use this link for the March 2nd, 2020 meeting set to begin at 7 p.m. This regular work session meeting of the Wyckoff Township Committee is now in session. In accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act, notice of this meeting appears on our annual schedule of meetings. A copy of said annual schedule has been posted on the bulletin board in Memorial Town Hall. A copy has been filed with the municipal clerk, as well as the record, the Richmond News, and the North Jersey Herald and News, all newspapers having a general circulation throughout the township of Wyckoff. At least 48 hours prior to this meeting, the agenda thereof was similarly posted, filed, and emailed to said newspapers. The agenda with the resolutions and ordinances to be considered was posted on the township's website at minutes and agendas on the Friday prior to this meeting. Thank you, Nancy. Can we confirm that the Finance Committee has reviewed and signed all the vouchers? 
I believe that is correct. Thank you. Um, and did we have any written public comments received via email today? We did not, Madam Mayor. Okay, then can I get a motion to open the 10 minute public comment period, 10 minute public comment period, two minutes per speaker for public comments on any governmental issue that a member of the public feels may be, uh, may be of concern to the residents of the township of Wyckoff? So moved. Second. Mr. Boonstra? Yes. Mr. Madigan? Yes. Mr. Melchior? Yes. Mr. Shanley? Yes. <clears throat> Mayor Rubenstein? Yes. Please call 201 891 extension 222 if you wish to make a comment. Again, it's 201-891-7000, extension 222. Hearing no one, can I get a motion to close the public comment period? Motion to close the public comment period. Second. Mr. Boonstra? Yes. Mr. Madigan? Uh, yes. Mr. Melchione? Yes. Mr. Shanley? Yes. Mayor Rubenstein? Yes. Um, and our township administrator is not here tonight, so we will go on to uh, reports of the township committee. Uh, Rudy, you want to start? Sure. Uh, Mayor, I will be very brief, um, <clears throat> seeing as it's only been a, last, a, minute, uh, um, a week since our last meeting. Um, the... Um, Regarding the planning board, the subdivision application will be in front of the planning board. Am I, am I not correct, Rob, a week from tomorrow night? Uh, the 10th, correct. The 10th, yep. yep. So that will be um, a week from tomorrow night, and um, we anticipate approving the uh, subdivision at that point. So hopefully we'll get that done. The next thing is um, the township received this impressive award from uh, New Jersey Clean Communities. This is for our COVID-friendly Team Up to Tidy Up um, event that we had last um, fall. And they were impressed by the organization of it, and um, and they gave us this very attractive award. So nice. um, really we didn't have- It's one of the nicest awards we've ever gotten. Uh, it it's quite attractive, actually. Yeah. I'll take that instead of an Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> um, and finally, uh, on the Historic Preservation Commission, Patricia Constance wrote a nice article, um, and I'm not sure where it went out. I was sent a, um, a, a, a screenshot of it that says, do you know Wyckoff has a Historic Preservation Commission? And it goes into the founding commission and the homes that will probably be designated in the first round and how to, um, and explains about the commission and, um, and how anyone can nominate their own home to be a, as a part of a historic home in Wyckoff. So it's a very nice piece. I'll try to get around to everyone. And uh, like I said, it was written by uh, Commission Member Pat Constance. And that's all I have. Thank you, Rudy. Tom? Yeah, a couple of quick things. Um, I just want to point out, I'm liaison to the, the uh, K-8 Board of Education. Uh, I have heard no information about the K-8 Board of Ed meeting, as we know, they met February 8th. The next scheduled meeting is March 15th. We had suggested they call a special meeting with all the controversy and issues at Eisenhower School, but uh, it's been uh, crickets, quiet, nothing that I've heard. Uh, last night, fire department uh, did their ice drill Official ice drill with mutual aid folks from Franklin Lakes, Oakland, and Waldwick. It was done in Zabriskie Pond. It was freezing out there, and I was on the sideline bundled up. So the guys and gals that get into the water and did the drills, they had three rescue hole, holes dug. And I just want to say hats off to all of them, not only the Wyckoff Fire Department, but the other three towns. and. The nice thing to see the mutual aid all working together. We were the lead group, and uh, congratulations to to all those folks. But it was cold out there. And the uh, last thing is I'll save most of it for Melissa. Uh, March is uh, Women's History Month, 
And it was nice to see Nancy Drabeck and Melissa by the government's beach flag pole today. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Thanks, John. Pete. All right. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I'll also be brief. I um, just want to report on the Memorial Day Parade Committee, which the Mayor and myself are part of. Actually, the Memorial Day Parade Committee from the VFW is meeting tonight to discuss several options um, for this Memorial Day. Um, so I'm not, not exactly sure what they're going to be discussing, but I'll report back after we, after we find out. But an idea that I had is um, all to go along with that is for the township of Wyckoff to do military tribute banners through town. Um, I know many other towns across the country are doing them. There are a few in New Jersey. So basically the program would consist of a banner, which would be 24 by 48 inches. Um, it would be hung on the decorative light poles throughout Wyckoff and it would recognize and honor active duty military and our veterans. Um, each town sets it up a little bit differently if they just recognize veterans or active military that are, are from Wyckoff or lived in Wyckoff. But I think possibly, and we'll discuss a little further, that um, you know we could open that up for any resident in Wyckoff to honor a uh, family member that is in the military or a veteran. Part of this program too, they have a uh, gold star commitment, which means any, if there's any um, family member that sponsors someone who was uh, killed in action from 1990 to the present day, they will uh, contribute that banner for free. Uh, basically the first side of the banner would be why call honors with a picture, name, military branch, dates, medals, and then sponsored by the family member. And the back side of the banner would be something along the lines of the Township of, Township of Wyckoff honors our veterans and those serving our military today. Uh, the cost of the banner, which would cover, the co would, cost, would cover the cost of the banner, the bracket would be charging $150. And we're thinking that uh, for the first year, we would limit it to the first 100 that um, wants to sponsor a military member. And basically, the sponsorship would run, hopefully get kicked off sometime uh, the beginning of next week, run through April 30th, and then that would give us time to display those banners in time for Memorial Day. And that's all I have, and if anyone has any questions on it, uh, let me know. Okay, thanks, Pete. Tim? Yeah, sure. I just, I'll just i be brief. Um, I started working on the fireworks uh, uh, committee um, just to, to look at it because we're hopeful, you know, and all the announcements that came out how adults should be vaccinated uh, by the end of May. So hopefully we're going to be coming to the end of this pandemic and we could do fireworks in the spring, in the uh, fall, in September. So I took a look at the calendar. And I see Rosh Hashanah is from the 6th to the 7th or the 8th. Uh, Yom Kippur is the 15th and 16th. So we'll miss the first two weekends. Um, and I checked with the fire chief. The New Jersey Firemen's Convention that they usually have it down in Wildwood is on the 17th and 18th. So those weekends would be out. So And you don't want to do it on September 11th, uh, which is also a Saturday this year. So the only option in September would likely be on September 25th. Uh, and, you know, I, I spoke to Giuseppe Cassiel today, and he, he said that Lakeland and um, ShopRite are committed to uh, helping sponsor by, by providing $5,000 each. So we're $10,000 toward our goal. I checked with Fireworks Extravaganza today, and they could do it on the 25th. So if um, I just want to know if um, the township committee is, will, wants me to pursue trying to get this set up so that we could do it on the 25th of That's September. Perfect. That's perfect. Okay, yes. I just want you know, just I, it's all I still got to plan it all, but that's the best I can give you is that, and we've already got a commitment of ten thousand, um, right. which should get us to where we need to get to. I mean, we're right. expecting that the fireworks are going to cost about just the fireworks themselves between fourteen and fifteen. 
They might be a little cheaper because we might have to do a smaller shell because we have to. We can't have a large shell going over the field, the new field turf, uh, because that's one of the areas you know where nobody's allowed on because the shell could fall there, and we don't want that to happen. So I let Fireworks Extravaganza know about that to make sure that any plan they're going to give us that we don't have any risk that a shell is going to fall on our new field turf. So if everyone's in, in okay, I'll set up, uh, I'll get a committee meeting together uh, with the fireworks committee and try to get this thing off the ground. I think that's great. Thank you, Tim. Okay, thanks. And hopefully the pandemic is done well before this. So hopefully that happens and uh, we're good to go. Thank you. Thank you. Um, just a couple of things. Um, Today, I had the honor of raising the Women's History Month flag um, on our government speech town uh, flagpole in the town hall complex with Nancy Drabeck, who was the first woman mayor of Wyckoff. Um, so it was um, just a great day doing that. And first time we've flown the Women's History Month flag. Um, and also, I included a resolution um, recognizing Endometriosis Awareness Month. Um, it's sort of an untalked about disease um, that affects one in 10 women. It takes approximately 10 years from the time a woman experiences symptoms to the time that she's diagnosed with the disease. It often leads to infertility, surgeries, hysterectomies. Um, it's a pretty devastating disease. And so I'm hoping that our resolution and putting it out on our social media can help raise awareness so that girls and young women and older women can get diagnosed much earlier than 10 years. So I thank my colleagues for putting that on the agenda with me. Um, and that is all. And can we have the report of the township attorney, Rob Landau? Uh, as Rudy said, we're scheduled for the uh, Maple Lake subdivision more fence, so hopefully that'll go smoothly. I do get the title work back to the property, so we'll be, once I get the county approval, too, we'll be ready to go on the title work. Right. We'll say came back pretty clean, so it's it's not no surprises, so that look good. Um, I was hoping to get to you before the meeting tonight the memo on the new uh, the cannabis law, the New Jersey Cannabis Regulatory Enforcement Assistance and Marketplace Modernization Act. Uh, and I gotta tell you, it's uh, it's a beast. <laughs> it's, How I mean, many it's pages? A, these are pages two sides, 280 pages. Wow. And it affects the criminal code. It affects uh, a little bit of the motor vehicle code. And, it, and, it's, you know, a, and there's a lot of regulatory uh, new regulations with regards, obviously, to the, the legalization of, um, of recreational cannabis for, for certain ages and certain manners. So I'm getting there. You know, my, my, I got one person in my office who's been working on it a lot. So how, how, how long have you been spending reading that? I'm just curious if the state legislatures who voted for this actually read all that. Uh, part of the problem is what we're finding, because I've looked at a couple of memos, um, there's different parts of the act that, that contradict. And uh, it's, it's confusing, it's going to be difficult. And then it's, it's different because the bills were changed up to the last minute. There's different versions floating on the internet. So you go on a site, you think you have it, you go to Lexus, you think you have it, you go to Westlake, you think you have it, and they all have different versions. So uh, we're getting to the bottom of it. Here. And I think they gave us 180 days because they know that there are going to be amendments to right. this law. I, I don't think this is the final version that we're going to see. Yeah, we have so we have, we have until August to pass our ordinance, and we do have to pass it by August because if not, we're stuck with this for five years, yeah, but not, we do have some time. Well, well that, that that aspect of it is, is clear to me. I think that won't be an issue. Um, when we talked at the last meeting, we had questions about whether or not you know greater restrictions could be imposed on on minors and how it would affect our existing laws and criminal code with respect to minors drinking alcohol and as well as marijuana. So we're, kind of, we're looking at everything, but I'm just about there. You should have something by the end of the weekend. Okay, great. And the, national, the League of Municipalities in New Jersey said that they're also going to be coming out with guidance. So I saw there was an email floating around today that I think Bob said that. Yeah, they, they gave kind of a preliminary overview, but then the, they said that they would have more guidance in the coming weeks. Okay. So we're waiting for that as well. That's all I have. Thank all right. you. I got a question on that, because yeah. last week when we were here, this had just passed. And I initially was under the impression it applied to 
Mine is meaning people under the age of 18, but I understand it now means people under the age of 21. Is that There's actually different penalties, I think, for under 18 versus 18 to 21 and then over 21 for different infractions. We'll, we'll give it to you. Penalties for the minors or penalties for the police who yeah, the police call them parents? Oh, both. I'm not even into the police with you. Mayor, okay. just a question on, on the same subject. Resolution 21-156, is that for adoption? We are today? not, no. That was just for information for only. It's information. not on the agenda. Just for discussion. Okay. Yeah. I, just on the same subject while we're here. Um, the New York Post seldom reports on political happenings in New Jersey. On page two today of the New York Post was a not very flattering article about our governor and this legislation. Same. Yeah. So. Well, it's all over the place. And yeah. I think the primary concern with it is the restrictions on the police. Correct. As it you know, that, that to minors. the focus of this article. And, and the civil liability on the police as yeah. a result of it, yeah. which, is, yeah. which is concerning. Yeah. Well, and it also mandates body cameras, which is, Correct. A, mm -hmm. you know, a cost to each municipality well, that's I, not yeah. been factored in. I actually think that is a coming mandate from the state. I don't know. What, when does that start? Like it, it actually was put off. So we had put it into the budget in years past, okay. and then our police department advised us that it was something that they, the mm -hmm. state had decided to push off. All right, so they so delayed it. They delayed it, but now it's included in this right, legislation. So, gonna... so they've given us no guidance on whether it's mandatory. Yeah, I know. Which is an important part of the budgeting process, and, which and, uh, we just don't right. have information on. And I remember when I was mayor last year and during some of the conference calls we had with our congressman, I had asked if he would look into federal grants for municipalities because we're going to have to, you know, purchase these cameras, and then we're going to have to store the video, which is a cost, too. Right. But I never heard from him, and uh, I don't think he's given Wyckoff any information about whether or not we're going to get any kind of federal grants uh, for, these bet for these cameras and the storage of the video. Right. Well, nobody's actually told us that it's mandated yet, so it's not something that we can include in our budget if it's not a mandate. So it's, you know... To be continued, right. but there's a lot of holes and open issues with this legislation that hopefully will be corrected. Anybody else have anything? No. Okay, then I will get a motion to adjourn the open work session. So moved. Second. Mr. Goonstra? Yes. Mr. Madigan? Yes. Mr. Melchione? Yes. Mr. Stanley? Yes. Mayor Rubenstein? Yes. I don't see any. Okay, okay.